Good evening, this is Dr. Do. This video is an alphabetic list of problems. Uh, today I'm, uh, we're on letter C, so today I'm going to talk about the cranial nerve associated disease. If you recall last time I talked about the cranial nerves, uh, 12 pairs. Um, before I uh, further talk about each in individual one, um, I just like to start with any uh, signs to for the emergency visit. Uh, of course, any of the um, the causes of problem of any of these uh, nerves it could be from stroke for the older people with the past medical history of hypertension, diabetes, um, or any other associated comorbidities problems. Or young people could be the neuritis or autoimmune disease. It could be the virus infection. Regardless, if you have any of um, the symptoms like a uh, when you wake up, feel the eyes uh, very painful, or or uh, your vision get blur blurred. Either uni usually it's unilateral. Uh, one of the eyes cannot see clearly, or you feel you drooping. Um, you cannot close your mouth mouth or cannot open or your eyes or cannot close your eyes, or your your uh, corner of your mouth start to uh, either up or down, um, or cannot wrinkle your forehead. Or, or cannot feel your shoulder is weak or feel or numbness or sensational abnormalities. Any of these, particularly for those older people, has other diseases. So any of these have problem, you need to all see the emergency because uh, for those people older uh, with the medical history could be the indication of stroke. And you know, I already talked about the stroke, is, uh, the time from from you go to the emergency, uh, from you notice your symptoms and uh, until you get in the emergency room, that's very critical. So if you have any of these symptoms for older people has other medical conditions, call the emergency right away. Or for the young people, you need to call your physician as soon as possible. Like even though it's not a stroke, it could be, could be the, uh, the viral infection or neuritis. The earlier the better. Uh, even though sometimes uh, uh, do not need a particular medication to management or you can uh, then, um, recover by itself, but you need to go see your physician as soon as possible to exclude any other serious problem. Then uh, follow your uh, physician's advice to manage accordingly. So let's just go over one by one. So I talk about, uh, I think if you follow my other stream of the videos, I talk about the cranial nerves. I said they're peripheral nerve. They belong to the peripheral nervous system, just like the nerves for nerves of our arms, of the legs, of the body. But they sit in the brain. They innervate the organs and the muscles, uh, the gland secretion of the facial and the neck and shoulder. So, um, they, uh, since they are peripheral nervous system, they ther theoretically they can repair. So that's why if you go early to treat early, they can recover. It's different from the central nervous system, they cannot repair, regenerate. So this is the difference. But anyway, um, what kind of, uh, what do those cranial nerves do? What do they do? Uh, I think last time I mentioned, um, their function either uh, two, three, four, six uh, pairs, like number two, number three, number four, number six. They're the, um, the nerves of eyes, either the vision, the um, optic nerve itself, or the eye movement, uh, the 360 degree movement. Uh, the muscles of um, lateral oblique muscles around the eyes. So these are the nerves of uh, innervate those muscles to control the eye movement. So any of the problems, so in the morning, get up, um, if you cannot, uh, uh, if you see double visions, or if you have, you notice that your eye cannot uh, uh, move either uh, up or cannot move down or cannot left, or cannot do the left, right, or any of the problem, you need to uh, call the physicians. Um, or the emergency room. And number one is the olfactory nerve, which is responsible for the smell. Um, from what I know, I think usually um, the sinusitis can cause the smell uh, different, uh, uh, problem. Or there's a, under, another condition of temporal um, 
or epilepsy or seizure can have this smell of normality. You just smell something funny, but it's not existing. So if any of these problem, you notice that if you smell something, but somebody else did not, you do not have any uh, disease, could be, like I said, the sinusitis could be uh, the cause or the temporal problem or any other problem cause the temporal or lobe um, problem, um, disease or either ischemic or uh, particularly the uh, if something grow there, um, that could be. Okay, so um, and the, the same thing for the second, the neuritis of optic nerve could be just viral infection or any other autoimmune disease cause it. So you feel blurred vision, you, usually just once, one of the eyes, not two of them. Uh, and you feel um, uh, blurred or feel pain behind the eyes. If that's the case, call your physician, either eye doctor or regular physician to uh, check it out. Um, and the other thing is if uh, regarding related to this optic nerve is uh, um, adjacent to another organ, pituitary gland. So uh, the chiasm, which they cross each other from left and right, they cross and, and sitting on the top of that cross structure is the pituitary. If the edema of pituitary, uh, something grow on the, that organ will press this. So if that's the case, you can lose the um, the peripheral vision. I think I mentioned it before. And uh, anyway, for those older people, regard, uh, and this uh, pituitary adeno adenoma could occur in young people. And for the other uh, three, four, and six, um, if any of your eye movement uh, from to any of directions has a problem, then you need to call your physician or your eye doctors. The causes for that usually is uh, it's from the internal disease, the the brain, um, either ischemic hemorrhage or or, or something um, over there to like growth like tumor. So that's probably the the major cause of that. Um, and the other important the um, um, cranial nerves uh, number five, which responsible for the gland secretion and the uh, facial sensation, like uh, the gland, including the the um, especially the ocular gland, the tear tear duct, the lacrimal gland. So that's the if that you and also uh, the gland secretion also regulated by the. Um, by the uh, facial nerve. So any of these uh, uh, cranial nerve has problem, you need to see your physician and uh, check it out. Some of them, like I said, could be uh, just managed by the steroid or um, just an um, uh, symptoma symptomatic man management. Uh, but the, the time is very critical, particularly for the stroke or an any other uh, problem you have, the earlier the better see your physician or visit the emergency room as soon as possible. So the take home message is like I, I said previously, check your, uh, especially for older people, check yourself uh, regularly. If you notice that your two eyes not uh, um, symmetrical uh, when you do the movement or when you look straight not, or all your, um, your family member told you that your eyes not uh, symmetrical, or especially when you move or you look at the different directions or when you feel like you cannot close your uh, mouth clo uh, tightly and drooping or drooling or uh, the eyelid drooping or so these are the the uh, problem I can think of because we're on the letter C and I think a cranial nerve is very special 12 pairs of them um, and uh, have complicated functions and uh, could be very serious, even though the symptoms might might be uh, subtle or not uh, or obvious. So just pay attention to yourself and uh, ask your family member or your caregiver to notice this. Uh, the earlier, the better, and uh, um, to see the uh, seek the medical attention. Okay, so that is for this video, and uh, I had it uh, before cranial nerve. I think the the content probably a little different, but anyway. Um, Thank you for watching and see you next time.